Hey everyone, it's Jeannie, and today is day 27 in our 30-day money game 2.0. And we have $27,000 in the account. What are you going to do with it? Are you having fun? Are you hitting a wall? I mean, really, these are big questions because you are the one who can change things. I want to talk about how you can make this game and the principles of this game real. And in these next couple of days, we're going to finish up with our daily videos that are brand new with new ideas and new kinds of, of um, sharings and stuff like that. Although, I would really like for us to continue sharing, so we'll talk about that. But I want you to look at the photo on the upload that I chose of that lady, you know, like wielding a baseball bat. And here's my thought. It's like, don't make me come get you. Go ahead and take this on for yourself. Make this game your own. I want to uh, read you a couple of sharings, and then I have a challenge for you. So uh, just someone said, I just got an email that Chewy.com refunded $24. I paid for a dog food shipment because they overcharged me. Cool. Every little bit helps. It does. I get unexpected money all the time, right? Another person said, I must admit that since we started this money game, there is always this anticipation in my mind, body, and soul that something good will come out of this money adventure. It makes me take note of daily experiences of giving and receiving, this is big, from God, the universe, infinite intelligence. You've helped me with realizations of expanding my horizon and visualizations of beautiful outcomes. She goes on to say, with $23,000, I'm extending my gift giving to my nine siblings and their families. We all helped each other and supported one another through many years. And I believe that the gifts I give them in cash or in kind will go a long way to bless other people. And that is the truth. <clears throat> now, this is a good one, too. So yesterday, $24,000, and that was the tapping day. If you have not done the tapping, go back to day 24. I finally looked at wood flooring for the main rooms in our house, and I'm just trying to decide between walnut or bamboo. Today's exercise was a little more intriguing as I went through the tapping not only to release hesitations and fears, but also to draw in resolve, change, and worthiness. Uh huh. Again, she said, I want to pay it forward to five of my customers who are also small business owners. $5,000 goes to a young woman who has decided to open her own dog grooming and dog walking enterprise. $5,000 goes to a woman who has started her own bling accessory company. $5,000 to my niece's budding soap business. $5,000 to a local man who makes the best Mediterranean food and Finally, $5,000 to one of the most talented persons I know who makes custom gifts. And this is, here's big, I accept that I am worthy. Yeah, this is not just a money game, okay? This is a worthiness game. We also had a couple of people send some daily devotionals. And interestingly enough, they all centered around our thoughts becoming our things. So what are you talking about? What are you thinking about? How are you being? So my challenge is this. I want you to go back through your journals and look and see what you have been receiving and spending. What have you been spending your money on? And did you hit a certain point where you just couldn't do it anymore? Or did you skip a couple of days? And if you did, did you go back and give you that, yourself that money? This is a good way to journal and to say, oh, you know, when I got X amount... That just threw me up against the wall. So I really want you to take that on and look and see where you got stuck. And if you did get stuck and you stopped putting the money in, go back and put the money in and spend it. When I first started the money game for myself, which was many years ago, 
I had this belief system that I really didn't know what to do with a lot of money. I always thought I would have a lot of money. But, um, and at the end of the game, and I played this for three months, so you can only imagine the amounts of money. And I had this huge realization that said, wow, I actually can be trusted with huge and vast amounts of money, which had never occurred to me. But it was a huge stretch. I had to really rack my brains every day going, okay, what am I going to do? And I got to tell you, I mean, it was a ton of money. And so what I did is, I mean, I took trips. Um, I bought vacation homes, a sailboat. I even bought a private jet. I took all my friends on trips. I donated to a lot of different causes and people. I set up scholarships. I built a wing to a library. It really made me think about it. And I also uh, changed how I was doing things. Instead of going to fast food or picking up, you know, fried chicken or something every couple of days, you know, for 12 or $15, I decided that I would meet my friend at Nordstrom Bistro about once a week. We'd have a glass of wine and a nice little entree, 40 bucks. And what did that do to me? First of all, it said I'm worthy of good food and a nice time, and that was good. But it made me dress up, too. I'm telling you, they don't care what you look like if you walk into Popeye's Fried Chicken. Just saying. But Nordstrom is a different deal. And it changed my attitude. I mean, I, I love Nordstrom, but it's like it changed my attitude. That I made a decision to show up differently. So on, and I took it up a notch and I want to invite you to do this too. I went through everything that I've been buying and I picked out a number of things, not everything because there was a lot, but I made a vision board and I had to look for pictures and words and representations of the things that I was putting down. And um, some great things happened to me. I used to own a travel agency and I always liked the tagline of Saab because they make jet engines. And so instead of saying drive a Saab, they would say fly a Saab. Well, guess what? I had an opportunity to buy a really nice, gently used Saab for a great price. I got it. I was also single and I kept seeing myself with the right husband. I didn't know how that was going to happen. So, but anyhow, Joe showed up, he contacted me, and interestingly, on my vision board, I had put a picture of a beautiful vineyard. Now, I, I like fine wines, but I know nothing about vineyards at that time. I knew nothing. And so when I met Joe and then drove from Dallas the first time down to his ranch on the river in the hill country, as I pulled up at the gate to my left, was a vineyard. Now, how does that work? How does that work? Because it's real. We are affecting the quantum field. So I ask you to consider going through what you are spending your money on and make a vision board. Get into the feelings. Look at it. Be there. Feel it. Up your game a little bit. So dream big. And what I want to do is I want to close out this session with some thymus tapping, which is like right here in the middle of your chest. Okay, take a deep breath. And you're going to repeat after me. I love myself exactly the way I am and exactly the way I am not. I love myself exactly the way I am and exactly the way I am not. I am willing to change. I'm willing to change. I move from the known past and the predicted future. I move from the known, known past and the predicted future into the unknown, into the unknown, where everything I want exists, where everything I want exists. I give myself permission to be there. I give myself permission to be there. I know I can dream big. I know I can dream big and I can create with joy and abandon. And I can create with joy and abandon. I love that about myself. 
I love that about myself. So don't make me come after you. And the truth of the matter is I'm so joking because I can't change you. You can change you. I can encourage you. I can bring these, uh, these lessons and all of the, the feedback. You have to change you. So make it good, make it big, make a vision board, get into the feeling. See you tomorrow, day 28, $28,000. Have fun.